as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle engagement speculation heats up big time, the prince's late mother Princess Diana thinks her son could do better. Yes, that's right, Diana is voicing concern about her second son's future marital happiness, even though she's been dead for 20 years. The world is hearing from Diana courtesy of Simone Simmons, an alternative energy healer, who claims she was one of the prince's trusted friends and confidants before she died in 1997. In an exclusive interview with the Daily Mail, which has been widely quoted in the British press, Simmons says that Diana still speaks to her almost like she did, when she was alive and she would call her, on the phone to talk for up to 10 hours. We talked about everything and anything, Simmons said about her friend. It's very strange how I can still hear her. It's very weird. I hear her voice speaking to me about world events, and being desperately in love with her grandchildren. Unfortunately, out of those weird conversations comes bad news, for American actress Meghan, though she's not likely to be paying much attention right now. Last week, Harry whisked Meghan off, for a romantic getaway to Botswana. While the trip was ostensibly, to celebrate Meghan's 36th birthday, many royal watchers, as well as British bookmakers, expect that Harry, will use the trip to propose Meghan. That's because Harry loves traveling to Africa, and because Africa was the setting for Prince William, to propose to Kate Middleton in 2010. Apparently, Diana adores Kate, and thinks she's perfect for William, Simmons claims. But Diana's comments to Simmons suggest she doesn't believe, Meghan is the ideal woman for Harry. It was a while ago when she did say who the right person was, and Harry would know it when it happened, Simmons told the Mail. Before she died, Diana told Simmons she was eager, for her sons to not to make the same mistakes, as she had when it came to getting married. Diana wed Prince Charles at age 19. He was 32, and they had only met perhaps a dozen times. Their fairy tale wedding, in 1981 turned to be anything but a fairy tale marriage. It didn't help that Charles was in love, with longtime girlfriend Camilla Parker Bowles. Charles and Diana divorced in 1996. Before Diana died we did have a very long talk and she said, what do I tell my boys about love and marriage, because mine didn't work. Simmons said. We decided that as far as love goes, the best match would be to be married to their best friend, Simmons added. Someone they can talk to, and share everything with offload onto. For Harry, Diana more recently revealed, to Simmons that she hoped he would find someone, who is totally dependable, because he's extremely sensitive. Diana supposedly thought one, of Harry's previous girlfriends would have been more suitable. Diana didn't tell Simmons which of those girlfriends she liked, but she thought one of them was a very good match. Before he started dating Meghan about a year ago, Harry previously dated a string of women, his major girlfriends were Cressy Dibnas, a former dancer and aspiring actress, and the Zimbabwe-born Chelsea Davy, with whom he had an on-again, off-again romance from 2004 to 2010. While Diana told Simmons she thought one of these, other women was a good match, though it obviously didn't work it, maybe because she couldn't take the pressure in the end. So, there you go, maybe Meghan won't be able to take the pressure in the end either. And yet, it has become almost conventional wisdom, in the British press that Harry, and Meghan are pretty happy together, and the relationship has advanced to the point that he was getting ready, to propose and as early as this summer. Then again, a friend of Harry's said something, in his famously soul-bearing Newsweek interview, in June that suggested the prince is in no hurry to get married, or that if he did proposed, it wouldn't happen until the end of this year. Well. If no engagement comes out of this Botswana trip, the world can turn to Simmons for other wisdom from Diana. Notably, Simmons indicates that the unconventional princess is still bucking trends, in her political views, including on what she thinks of the UK leaving the European Union. I know a lot of people aren't going to like it, but she said we've got to vote for Brexit, Simmons said.